Another day, another cap by Ronald 2K. Oh, wait. Wait, how does that saying go again? Uh, psh, I don't even know. Anyways, we are back on the NBA 2K21 demo today. Wait, how do I, wait, which one is it? Oh, okay, it's this one. I'm sorry, I could not tell the difference between the two because they are literally copy and paste. But this demo has only been out for a little over 24 hours and it has been completely broken. Don't believe me? Have a look for yourself. Starting off with Magic Johnson making 6'8 point guards looking unguardable. And yeah, you know that behind the back they passed in 2K20? They decided to bring it back for literally no reason even though they literally took it out of last year's game. Speaking of drill moves, this dude is literally carrying the ball to half court he really bringing the walk back to a whole nother level oh yeah and this guy right here yeah he, his player just not there his archetype is literally invisible oh and you know that pro stick function they were adding yeah um just yeah but even though Kawhi's airborne lamps don't worry he can still spin dunk from the three-point line and remember when 2k said that pro stick function would give a bigger skill gap and bring people boost to shooting the ball with the stick yeah um we're gonna watch a minute and a half of gameplay right here of this dude consistently greening full core shots with the pro stick Okay, I've had enough of this. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka HD, and I'm back in the building with yet another banger. Now, I know the NBA 2K21 demo was probably a disappointment for you. Matter of fact, if it was, drop a like on the video right now. Let's see how many people really were disappointed in the NBA 2K21 demo. Actually, let's rate the NBA 2K21 demo from a scale from 1 to 10 in the comment section below. So, pause the video right now, drop a like, and rate the demo in the comment section right now. Now. For myself, I was very dis disappointed. Um, I really thought a lot of stuff was copy and pasted. But anyways, I'm going to be bringing you guys a lot of tips and tricks. Actually, 10 facts that you need to know before making your NBA 2K21 build. So if this video helps you out at all, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel, guys. Over 70% of you guys aren't subscribed and you guys watch my videos. You may as well subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? 300K on the way. But anyways, let's get straight into these tips and tricks. I'm not trying to waste your time. So let's get straight into this banger, man. Let's get it. So the number one thing we're going to go over is the max height for each position. Now, we're going to be talking about positions later in this video again. 2K has completely changed the max height for some of these positions. There was a lot of people saying that there might be 7-7 seven, seven centers and other heights might be bumped up. But basically, here's everything you need to know. Point guards can be maxed out at 6'8", as you can see right here. 6'8", which is three inches taller than usual shooting guards yes shooting guards can be maxed out at six nine which is only an inch taller than usual and small forwards can finally be six foot ten again this is an inch taller than last year and then power forwards and centers are actually the same as usual power forwards max out at seven foot and then centers max out at seven foot three now number two is called what you see is what you get now this is a very simple tip and basically what i'm saying is if you you look at these pie charts obviously yellow means playmaking blue means finishing red means defense and green means shooting now if your pie chart is mainly red you're going to be more of a defensive player mainly playmaking you're going to be more of a you know, playmaker obviously more of green you know more of a shooting you know you get the point but last year in 2k20 if you made a two-way slashing playmaker so a yellow red pie chart which is playmaking defense pie chart you could kind of turn that build into like a shooting driving build as well you can't really do that this year and we're going to show you a lot of reasons why later in this video but they really messed with the attributes and made it to where you can't finesse these pie charts to make them really do everything 
so don't go into making a build thinking that it's going to be able to do everything because not because there's not really a clear dominant build in, that's going to be an nba 2k21 all right number three is positions point guards versus shooting guards and power fours versus centers now this is a point guard i'm going to go with the yellow green pie chart i'm going to make the same exact build on a point guard and a shooting guard we're going to go with the fastest speed physical profile and i'm going to upgrade the exact same things and we're going to do the same things on power forwards and centers now most people have been telling me that shooting guard gives you more badges now when i compared the point guard and shooting guard play shots i saw almost no difference in attributes but i saw one small difference in badges i did see that i got more defensive badges on the shooting guard but i also got a little more playmaking badges on the point guard and you can see that right now this is the exact same build but just at the shooting guard position here are the stats you saw the badges it's basically the same thing but a lot of people are saying that shooting guards may be better now when it comes to power forwards and center we're gonna make a power four we're gonna go with a pure red pie chart we're gonna go with the same physical profile same pie charts and all we're gonna upgrade the same exact things and we're gonna compare now power forwards and centers are very different i'll tell you that and power forwards are way better you would have to be trolling to make a center i'm not gonna lie so we're going with six nine minimum weight max wingspan now just look at the stats okay look at the stats now we had 10 1 2 and 30 on the badges look at the stats look at the driving and the defensive stats now we're gonna do a center okay pure red pie chart same physical profile we're gonna upgrade the same exact things now the badge upgrade layout is gonna be the same thing except we're gonna have one less playmaking badges than we did on the power forward but when we put the max wingspan the weight um the 6'9 height the attributes are completely different look at look at how much lower the standing dunk and driving dunk is look at how much lower the all the defensive stats are it's almost like it's a completely different different build and look at the physicals too i'm seven speed slower as well so power forwards are definitely better than centers in nba 2k21 so make sure you keep this in mind when you're looking at builds and of course number four is the wingspan difference i think this is one of the biggest changes they have made so let's go ahead and make a build we're going to go with a point guard and we're going to go with the the classic two-way slashing pie chart so yellow red we're gonna go with the speed pie chart okay now watch we're just gonna put some random attributes in you know some attributes that you know we would probably upgrade if we were make, gonna make a two-way slashing playmaker okay now watch what happens when i edit the wingspan okay so we're gonna go six four and we're gonna go minimum weight and look at the wingspan now if you guys don't notice this is a lot different than 2k 20 okay first of all my defense attributes are going up and down a lot more and my driving is changing as well and the playmaking isn't taking as big as a dip now if you look at nba 2k 20 we're gonna make the same build the two-way slashing playmaking pie chart and look at i'm gonna upgrade the exact same things and we're gonna go six four and look at what happens after i go minimum weight and i change the wingspan right nothing happens on driving my defense is not going up or down too much and my playmaking is taking more of a hit so basically what you need to take from this is that wingspan is very important this year if you max your wingspan it's gonna make your player a way better defender including on the attributes including driving you're gonna be a lot better driver and you're not gonna take that big of a hit on ball handling but it's going to be the same hit that you would usually take when it comes to shooting now when it comes to weight weight is not that big of a difference this year as you can see i'm going to make a two-way slashing playmaker right here and when i go ahead and edit the weight it's going to adjust my defensive stats and my post moves now last year as you can see on the screen in nba 2k20 it only affected your defensive stats now on both years though it affected your physicals but i think as a center in nba 2k21 the weight is huge if you go from minimum to max weight like it completely changes your strength but we don't know if that's going to be worth it or not and number five of course is going to be the four new pie charts they added to nba 2k21 so yes they have the same exact pie charts from nba 2k20 but they added four new ones there is one that has a little more driving and shooting rather than half shooting and half driving and another one that's a little more shooting than driving rather than half shooting and half driving and then there's another one that rather than having half playing and half green which is shooting it has a little more shooting than playmaking and then lastly they have one that has a little has a lot of red and a little less shooting rather than half red and half green now in all of these pie charts you actually only get hall of fame badges in one category the category that has that owns the biggest portion of the pie unlike these other pie charts when they go half and half you get hall of fame badges in two different categories so keep that in mind when you're choosing those new pie charts 
Also, I think there is a glitch with these new pie charts. If you pick the yellow or green pie chart, the new one, of course, and I think even the blue and green one, if you make those as long as they are the new pie charts and you make it on a center or a power forward, as you can see right here, you actually can get difficult shots on a center and a power forward. That hasn't been possible since 2K19 and I don't know if this is like a mistake or something. And you also get floor general and dimer. Now, I think the floor general and dimer thing is probably supposed to be there, but I don't think that difficult shots is supposed to be there. So I thought I would just add that in the video as well because that's something a lot of people aren't noticing. And number six is going to be some certain builds that were good in NBA 2K20 that have been completely patched or a little nerfed in NBA 2K21. Now, the first one we're going to go after is the playmaking glass cleaner. Now, this build was very good in NBA 2K20. It had contact dunks. It had amazing defense. It could speed boost. And its three-pointer could get up to in the 70s or the high 60s. Now, as you can see, we are upgrading this build exactly how we would upgrade a regular playmaking glass. And look at how bad the stats turn out. We're talking about the ball handling is not only down one, but the three-pointer is down. The driving dunk is down a lot. And so is the driving layup. And look at how much the defensive stats are affected more when you put up the height to 6'8". So yeah, the playmaking glass cleaner has definitely been nerfed a little bit. The next build we will be making is the two-way slashing playmaker. Now, the two-way slashing playmaker I don't think was as nerfed as much as the playmaking glass cleaner, but the two-way slashing playmaker has been nerfed. As you can see, we're upgrading just how we usually would upgrade a two-way slashing playmaker. And as you can see, when we put up the height to 6'4 or 6'5, this build is not going to be able to get contact dunks like it was in NBA 2K20. Now, other builds that were pretty decent were tall playmaking builds, but look it. I know 6'8 is pretty good, but when I go up to 6'10, look it, and even 6'11, because, you know, some people did have some 6'10 playmakers that were pretty fast. Look at how much of a hit my playmaking takes. Like, it's literally not even close. Like, my playmaking just gets completely destroyed. And all I want to look at is shooting glass lock builds. Shooting glass lock builds, as you can see right here, we're trying to make one right now. Their three-pointer just isn't as high as usual, and that's why a lot of people are turning to making inside center builds. Especially since Mike Wang, one of the devs at 2K, said that you're going to need at least a 70 to 75 three-pointer to shoot consistently. These shooting glass lock builds are something to watch out for because they might not be able to perform as well as they used to. Number seven is going to be quick draw and jump shots. Now, as you guys probably already know, if you don't, they actually took out the badge quick draw out of the game. And as you can see on your screen, this is in 2K19 when you could actually make a custom jump shot and custom your speed of your release that's exactly what you're gonna be able to do in NBA 2k21 so when you're making your builds and you're looking at your shooting badges usually you'd be using four badges on Hall of Fame quick draw or maybe even three on gold quick draw or you know whatever you're using on quick draw you don't have to use those shooting badges on quick draw anymore because as you can see on the screen there is no quick draw this year and just a quick tip in the prelude, if you click Y when you're looking at your badges, you can actually select what jump shot you want. I would recommend Stephen Curry. That is 100% the best jump shot on this list. It is not even close. And number eight is going to be the shot meter and the pro stick function. Now, when you're making your build, you need to know that you do get bonuses when you're using no shot meter or when you're using the pro stick. Now, the shot meter is very ugly, so hopefully it's not as ugly when you take it off, and hopefully it's a lot smoother, but look at me shooting with a stick. This stuff is literally impossible. I hope you guys know. Sh go practice in the 2KU and shoot with the stick. You don't have to time your jump shot at all. So if you use the stick, it doesn't matter what jump shot you're using. Just You may as well just equip the fastest jump shot. Sh you could literally use Shaq, even though it's slow. It doesn't matter. You don't have to time it. It's all about aiming. Trust me, just go to the 2KU practice with the pro stick you'll know what i mean it's very weird and it's super easy to airball but as y'all saw in the intro look at right here if once you do get it like ready and like you're greening every shot you can literally green full courts like i'm telling you bro this is this is very glitchy it's very weird i'm not gonna lie they should remove this from the game considering you literally don't have to time anything number nine now this is probably the most important thing and number 10 might even be more important but number nine 
the uncertainty okay now what i mean by this is there's a lot of things we don't know about nba 2k21 that could completely change the way we build our builds number one do we get that plus five boost when we hit 99.9 in nba 2k20 after you hit 95 when you hit 96 you got plus one 97 another plus one 98 another plus one 99 another plus one 99.9 another plus one which is a total of plus five attributes to each single stat do we get that again this year because if not it's gonna be a big difference if we do it's gonna be a big difference another thing is there like a rep or some way we can earn the plus four gatorade boost like we could in nba 2k20 this is also going to change and affect our attributes of our physicals when it comes to speed strength vertical acceleration and all that and then another thing is badges like the only thing we know is that quick draw is gone they said they kept all these badges and yeah all these badges are here but we don't know how they changed them what did they nerf what did they improve how did they tweak these badges we don't no. Now, number 10, probably one of the most underrated tips in this video that you can usually only make six my players in the NBA 2K21 demo. I'm going to show you for at least on Xbox, probably works on PlayStation, not sure how to do it. Comment down below and help out my PlayStation players in the comments. But I'm going to show you guys how you can reset your 2K21 saved stuff so you can restart and make another six builds without having to make another account. So basically, what you're going to go to do is go to the game, click manage game and add ons. And then the app store, whatever is gonna load up, go down to save data, and then go to the account you wanted to um, restart on, click A, and then delete everywhere. Once you do this, this will clear it so you can load up the game and make another six my player. So definitely a useful tip if you're trying to test out a lot of different builds, several different builds, and really get a feel for the NBA 2K21. If this video helped you guys out at all, make sure to do your boy a favor and drop a like on the video. I'm gonna be coming out with a lot more prelude videos, a lot of build videos, and a lot of more tip and trick videos for you guys so you guys can be ready for NBA 2K21 launch day. If you guys are excited for NBA 2K21, Make sure to subscribe to the channel as well. 300,000 subscribers on the way. But anyways, guys, it's been your boy Henry, aka Double HDF, man. And I'm out, y'all. I ain't never had no friends. I was all alone. She ain't never called my phone. She left me on my own. They say all girls are the same. Proud that they're my dog. She said, can you stay with me? Now I got a girl. Diamond dripping off my deck. It's wet. I'm about to flex up on my